Hey there everybody, it's Mecha Draco coming to you with another video. And in today's video, we're going to talk a little bit about the Worski scandal. Alright, so it's not really a scandal as much as it is just a little bit of drama that came up because of the demonetization video uh, that uh, Worski came up with. Um, as you guys don't know, Andy Worski is a fairly popular anti-SJW, um, anti anti-feminist um, individual who speaks his mind about just everything that goes on uh, within society. I think he sort of actually has a little bit of the same... Uh, I kind of have the sort of the same channel as he does. He's a little bit more of an outrage channel, though, as much, and I'm a little bit more of a try to think about it kind of channel. Um, and he actually, I do like agree with a lot of the stuff that he says. I like watching his videos. I haven't watched some of his videos here recently because I just haven't really felt the need to, uh, because I've been doing my own videos. So why should I? Um, but you know. If you guys don't really remember, if you guys haven't seen the video, I, of course, will link it in the description. I'm not going to have the actual video up and running for us on this particular video or anything like that. I think everybody pretty much knows the video by now. If you don't, definitely check it out so you can get some context. But I will go and be discussing the video just a little bit I'm here. It's a pretty short video, so if you guys want to go check it out, you should see it. Um, now, I'm going to try my best to make this, sort of, uh, this video fairly, fairly short as well because I don't want to make it longer than his video. So... To start off with, I want to say that I agree with him. I mean, in the long run, it's all about this insane level of monetization. Like, I, I, as I said before, as I've told you guys before, I don't even bother monetizing anymore. I stopped trying to monetize, like, as soon as I basically pretty much started this whole thing. And the only reason why I stopped doing the monetization is because I wasn't making anything off of it anyways. I think I was making maybe 10 cents a video if I was lucky. So, in the reality, the fact is, is that there's just no point in trying to make money off of it at this point. And, and, and you get demonetized for just about everything now. Um, I mean, even my, I myself, I, I, I don't post these videos as, as monetized, and they get demonetized almost immediately. And it's kind of insane at how quickly they do, but I don't pay attention to that. I just pay attention to Patreon, and, and I do, again, I want to, just like um, Andy did... And everything. I want to thank everyone who's assisting me and, and donating to me on Patreon and helping me continue this what I'm doing because you guys are what helped me actually make money and actually make a living off of this. And I thank you guys from the bottom of my heart for that. Uh, now this isn't going to be turning into an actual like shout out video or anything like that for for my Patreon. I'm just saying that. Now. To actually move into the real drama that came from the from the video itself, what I do want to talk about is. The drama that came from the video is he said some things in the video like uh, if there wasn't a woman involved, then uh, there wouldn't be, then this wouldn't be happening. Now, he didn't actually, of course, say it like that. He specifically said if a feminist woman wasn't in charge, he said, oh, a man would never let this happen and all this other stuff like that. And then he goes on to say something else along the lines of like, if you really want a woman in charge, don't let her be a feminist. Don't let her be somebody who's all about inclus inclusivity, I think is what he said. Um, so the idea is that he's not... And the outrage that a lot of people got from all of that, though, is that he was saying something sexist. That he's been holding back this entire time of, what he's, of how he speaks and how he says things because he's actually a sexist, but now he's... Now that he's just, you know, going to all halls bar, he's just going to be a blatant sexist the entire time. And, like, the only reason why he hasn't been that way is because he's been trying to make money off of it through ad revenue and such. And, and I just don't think that that's the case. I, I don't think that what he said was necessarily sexist. I think what he said was what Andy Worski usually does. Outrageous. It was an outrageous statement that was... I don't necessarily think it was a joke. I, I don't... I really didn't get the sense of there being some kind of joke behind that. There are some people who are trying to say that he's, you defend him because he's a joke, but I don't think that people realize exactly where he's coming from or what he's actually saying. I think that people are really trying to take him out of context and really take him like at a super face value. And I don't really think you can with Andy. I, I think part of the thing about with Andy is that he's all about being super outrageous and super loud and in your face and... And what he said was very outrageous, and I'm sure he got demonetized right then and there for that very reason. And 
but I don't think that he was being sexist. I think, in my personal opinion anyways, and this is of course just my opinion, from what I take from that, I'm thinking he's just basically upset that a feminist is in charge and that he can't make money off of YouTube anymore because our ability to speak our minds, our ability to actually create and be ourselves on YouTube just no longer exists anymore. Like, even I, at a hundred, at only a hundred subscribers, uh, if I were to monetize and get some views and such, would probably make a semi-decent amount of money if we didn't get demonetized and have all these problems with ad revenue. And I know that the reason why the company themselves are doing what they're doing, I, I know that the company is, is probably, they're, they're thinking that bigger name companies are given a crap about all this all this racism and all this sexism that's on YouTube so they're trying to get rid of their ads from from that and YouTube's trying to counter that by making it more ad revenue friendly and as it goes along it's just it's just come to a shit show as it is and and I can't even begin to understand where the the i the mindset is coming from i think youtube should have i think really youtube should have just basically hold their footing and they should have backed their their community not their wallet basically i agree with worski on his video i think that he's right i think that at this point we can't can't rely on youtube to make money anymore I haven't done it since I started it, and to be honest with you, I don't, you know, I don't think I'll ever, I mean, if I start making millions upon millions of viewers and subscribers, then sure, maybe I might make money off of it, but until that happens, I, I can't make money off of YouTube, and I never will, probably. Not, not even with, like, I mean, even he, with, even Worski, with almost 250,000 subscribers, can't make money off of ad revenue because he gets demonetized or because of something else. So that's just basically my opinion on the on the subject. I don't think Worski's sexist. I think he just wishes it wasn't a feminist who was in charge and that the reason why we have the problems we have is because of who it is that's in charge. And I think that he's right that monetizing on YouTube is bad is is pointless at this point and we might as well just move on. And I think that honestly we might eventually have to find ourselves a new platform. But that's where I'm going to leave the video there. I certainly hope you guys liked it. If you did, you know the drill by now. Go on ahead and hit that like button if you liked it. If you really liked it, go on and hit that share button. And if you loved it and you haven't already, go on and hit that subscribe button. And of course, as always, guys, good luck out there. And don't forget to have fun.